Today, we are going to solve for the value of A and B in this equation. Just see how I'm going to take this step by step, okay? And pay close attention. Now, in this question, when you see something like this, this sodic equation, right? Now, the first thing we need to do anytime we see a sod as a denominator is to rationalize the denominator, right? And we rationalize the denominator using the conjugate of the denominator. What does that mean? This conjugate of a sod, for example, if you have 3 over root 2 plus 1, for you to rationalize this, the conjugate of root 2 plus 1 is root 2 minus 1. So you are going to rationalize this denominator by multiplying the numerator by root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2 minus 1, okay? So root 2 minus 1 is the conjugate of root 2 plus 1. That is exactly what we are going to apply here, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now, this is the question. Root 3 minus 1 divided by, let me clean this. So we have root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 plus 1. Like I said, let's rationalize this by multiplying it by what? Root 3 minus 1. That is the conjugate of the denominator divided by root 3 minus 1. Okay. Plus this side will be root 3 plus 1 over root 3 minus 1. So we are also going to rationalize the denominator of this one by also multiplying it by the conjugate of the denominator, which is what? Root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 plus 1. All right. So this is equal to, we are just concentrating on the left-hand side of the equation, okay? Now this is equal to root 3 minus 1 times root 3 minus 1 is same thing as root 3 minus 1 squared right yeah divided by root 3 plus root 3 plus 1 multiplied by root 3 minus 1 is what difference of two squares yes the algebraic identity states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b or a plus b multiplied by a minus b so if we look at this, it's already in this form. So let's put it in this form, all right? So we are going to write the denominator as what? Root 3 squared, because in this case, our A is root 3, and our B is 1, okay? So root 3 squared minus 1 squared. All right, that is it for this side, okay? Plus, then for this side, we have root 3 plus 1 multiplied by root 3 plus 1, which is the same thing as root 3 plus 1 squared, right? Divided by, then we are going to have the same thing as the denominator here. So we have difference of two squares here, where our a is root 3 and our b is 1. So we are going to write this as root 3 squared minus 1 squared. All right, now this is equal to root 3 minus 1 squared. We are going to expand this using the algebraic identity. This algebraic identity states that A minus B squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB. Okay, so this is the algebraic identity that we are going to apply to solve for this numerator so if we do that if we do that um root 3 minus 1 squared becomes our a is what our a is root 3 and our b is 1 okay so we are going to substitute it into this place so to expand this is going to be root 3 squared right so it's going to be root 3 squared plus b squared, that is plus 1 squared, plus 1 squared, all right, minus 2 times our a is what? Root 3, okay? Root 3 dot our b is 1. All right, that is it for this one.
okay divided by root 3 squared now root 3 squared is same thing as root 3 times root 3 okay now in sod we are told that you can actually bring this together right so it becomes root 3 times 3 which is root 9 which is equal to 3 so invariably anywhere you see root so something multiplied by root something will give you something let me put it that way so everyone will understand so if we have root 2 times root 2 we still have 2 root 5 times root 5 we still have 5 and so on and so forth so if we apply that here if we apply that here so we are going to have root 3 squared will give us what 3 minus 1 squared will give us 1 okay so that is it for this side all right plus now let's solve for this side now root 3 plus 1 squared is going to be the same for with this except that a plus b squared we give you everything will be plus 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 all right and our a is still root 3 and our b is still 1 so let's substitute it into this for so root 3 plus 1 squared oh uh, but before that if this is the first time you are coming across my channel please click on the subscription button okay and on your notification bell that is because i want to see you in my next video yes i wouldn't like to miss you in my next video so don't hesitate to do that so that you will be notified anytime i upload a new video thank you so much so if we should apply that here we are going to have um a squared will be root 3 squared. So it's going to be the same thing except that this place will be plus, right? So I pray this will enter here. Okay, we have we are going to have root 3 squared plus 1 squared minus, okay, plus this time, right? Plus 2 times root 3 times 1. All right. That is it for, for the numerator divided by then the denominator is the same thing so it's going to be root 3 squared is what 3 all right minus 1 squared is 1 okay so this is equal to now root 3 squared is 3 remember so we have 3 plus 1 squared is 1 minus 2 times root 3 we give us 2 root 3 all right divided by 3 minus 1 is 2 okay now plus <laughs> just mm, yes be patient because the way the solution will come out is very funny okay all right plus then root three squared is also three plus one squared is one plus two root three right two root three divided by two now we have the same denominator so we can actually just add the numerator right since they are sharing the same denominator so this is equal to that sharing the same denominator so we can bring everything together but before that three plus one will give us four so let me write four here minus two root three okay plus three plus one will also give us four plus two root three okay this is equal to minus two root three plus two root three will give us zero yes so we are left with four plus four all right divided by two so this is equal to four plus four will give us eight divided by two is equal to four all right now we got the value of the left hand side of this equation as four so we are asked to find a plus b how do we do that so we can now write that the whole of the left hand side which is four is equal to a plus b root three all right, if this is equal to this, then these are the conditions. One, that A is equal to 4, right? Because this is rational. A is equal to 4. This is the only rational number in the left-hand side here. So our A is equal to 4. And B root 3, which is the rational part, is actually not involved there. That means our B root 3 is equal to 0, okay? So let's divide both sides of this equation by root 3, root 3. So we are going to have that root 3, we divide root 3, we are left with what? B is equal to 0 divided by root 3, 
is what zero so in essence in essence our a is equal to four and our b is equal to zero these are the rational values of our a and b thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day